In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the front screen on the iPhone 13 mini. Begin by powering down the device if you can, then take a pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two screws from the bottom of the device. Once they're removed, we're going to take a single-sided razor blade. Because the screen's already broken, we're not going to worry too much about preserving it. So we're just going to create an incision with the razor blade and we're going to pull it back like that. And that's going to make a larger gap, big enough for us to fit the plastic guitar pick into. Which we can now run along these edges to separate the screen from the frame. You can use heat by using a hairdryer or a heat gun to make this a little bit easier if you didn't want to damage the screen. But for the sake of the speed of removing this, it's just not worth it. It's not worth bothering with. Once you've got these three edges removed, then we can lift it up from the bottom, wiggle it from side to side a little bit. If it's difficult, get the plastic pick in this gap here and then open it up just like that. At this point, it's a good idea to put a weighted sturdy object like a mug. It works best if it's an eye doctor mug, of course, behind the screen so that you can free up your two hands to work with. Next, We've got one tri-wing screw holding down this shield here. Remove that, then use your tweezers to lift up the shield. It's under little sort of hooks here, so you might have to wiggle it about a little bit to release it. Then use a plastic spudger to disconnect the battery, isolating power from the device, followed by this connector here for the front screen. Before we try and remove the screen though, it is attached just up here. This is held down by two tri-wing screws and a crosshead screw. Remove those three screws. Then use your tweezers again to lift up the shield. This is hooked on the opposite side this time. So do the same again, give it a little wiggle to release it. And then use the plastic spudger to disconnect this flex cable here. That means that we can release the screen now and put that to one side. If your screen came with a replacement dust and moisture resistant seal, then this is the time that we're going to remove the old one and prepare the edge for the new seal. The easiest way to remove the old seal is to use one of these number 4A X-Acto blades and then just carefully run it along the edge, removing as much of the seal as you possibly can. Once you've cut away all the seal from the edge, use a cleaning brush with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on there to brush up any dust and sticky stuff that remains and then capture any bits what you might have left like that. Now we can take the new seal to so line up the top left corner followed by the left hand edge allowing it to line up all the way around and then just use the back edge of your tweezers or a flat edge of a spudger just to secure it down before finally peeling off the top layer of the seal. With that applied, we'll get the new screen ready now. So start off using your tri-wing screwdriver and remove the three tri-wing screws that hold down this little bracket on the back of the screen. Then remove it with your tweezers. And now using a heat gun or a hairdryer, we're going to warm up the area around here to soften the adhesive, allowing us to release this flex cable from the back of the screen. It's important to be very careful when removing this because there are important components for face ID such as the proximity sensor up here and the ambient light sensor over here. So just be very careful when you're removing this because it is stuck down pretty well. The easiest way that I've found to remove it is to get your tweezers underneath this area here and whilst warming it sort of run it underneath to separate that cable. Once you've got this part, once you've got a good grip of this bit, you should be able to lift it up and peel it, just like that. And then with these bits, we want to get the tweezers underneath again, lift it up, and then we can lift this up. And this is ready to go onto the new screen. So the screen that we're using on this one at the customer's request was the cheapest one that we could get our hands on. So we're just going to work on lining up the sensors that we remove first and then we can stick this back sticker back on there like that and that's just about prepared 
apart from this plastic film. One last thing before I forget, we have to put this little shield back in place and very, very nearly reattach the screen without that being attached. Line up the shield and re-secure those three tri-wing screws. Now let's get this attached to our phone. The easiest way to do this is to sort of offer up this cable just here, the display cable. Make sure that it lines up and then once it's in line, apply pressure until you get the click on both sides. So make sure that you press down here and here to make sure that it's secured properly. Then move up to the top of the phone. Use your tweezers to help guide with this one. And then once it's lined up, apply a little bit of pressure with your finger. If it's not in right, it won't sit and you won't get that click. But once it's in, you should, you, you'll feel it and it'll not move around when you pull the cable around. Now let's re-secure the battery. Because we've not moved that, that should just fold back over and secure into place nicely. And then we'll get our shield back into place. Make sure that those hooks re-hook into place. Does that make sense? Re-hook. And once it is in place, secure it down with that one tri-wing screw. Then the last shield is this one up the top. It's the same again. Remember it had a hook on this side over here. Make sure that it's not sat out of the hook. That's the most important thing because there is a risk that it makes the phone too sort of wide and you can cause damage to your new screen. Then you've got two tri-wing screws. The longer of the two is this one here. Short one goes here. And then finally, we've got the crosshead screw up here. Just perform a quick visual check to make sure that all the screws are secured down properly and the shields are secure before finally closing up the device the same way you opened it. Resecure it in the top up here first and then give it a little squeeze along the edges to make sure that it sits properly on the chassis. Reinstall the two pentalobe screws into the bottom of the phone. Plug the phone in. When we get that Apple logo, we know the job's nearly done. Thank you for watching and see you next time.